Hi, I'm Joshua. NanoHub.org resources are user-submitted content grouped by categories for easy navigation. I've already logged into NanoHub.org, so I'm on my MyHub homepage. Let's navigate to resources using the top-level resources menu option. I'm going to scroll down a bit. You see here a label categories on the left and on the right all of the different kinds of categories for resources including animations, courses, downloads, online presentations, and so on. If you already know the name of the resource you're looking for, you can type it in the search field and then click search. You can also browse a list of all available resources of all categories. But for now, we're going to start by looking at animations. Like many other things on nanohub.org, resources are organized by tag or descriptive bits of text submitted by users. I'm going to look at the circuits tag to see if I can find any relevant animations. Once I've clicked it, I see one animation of interest the fabrication of a MOSFET within a microprocessor. This is a kind of transistor, and this is an animation showing us how this happens. Let's click View Link to watch the animation. This animation is actually composed of multiple pages and also has written material to educate us on how MOSFET transistors are fabricated. This animation opens in a new tab, so I'm going to go on and close it to return to the animation browsing page. It's worth noting that if we scroll down, we see a list of top-rated animations. These are rated by users. Let's go on and visit a highly rated one called Particle Wave Duality, an animation. Now we're on the homepage for this animation, where we see a View Presentation link, as well as some information to the right. For those of you who are socially connected via sites like Facebook, Reddit, Dig, Twitter, and so on, you can share this content with your friends using those sites by clicking any number of these links on the right. If I were to click the Facebook link pictured here, a new window would pop up where I would log into Facebook, and if I follow directions there, it will share the content with my friends. Let's briefly revisit the resources menu. You can use the subcategories in this menu, like what's new or contribute, to see what's new or contribute, as well as jump directly to the subcategories listed on the resources homepage. These are all convenient options for speeding up your navigation. To learn more about contributing resources, please watch our separate video tutorial. Thanks for watching.